How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, as always, Sixie Dust, here with some more Jurassic World Evolution content for the channel. This here will be part two of our To Color a Dinosaur series, the series in which we color dinosaurs. However, before we jump into today's video, I have just a little disclaimer. The randomizer app that we have selected to help us choose our dinosaurs uses changing colors to help emphasize the spinning wheel. Those sensitive to changing light, please be advised. So today's dinosaur, the first dinosaur, will be the Corythosaurus, a medium-sized hadrosaur which can be compared to either the Parasaurolophus or Edmontosaurus. Here we can see it in its base skin. It has those unique hadrosaur features, the duck bill shaped mouth, the frill that sits atop the head, and while by no means does this dinosaur look bad, I'm certain we can make it look at least a little better. By mixing in the mangrove forest skin pack, we give it a nice blue overtone and an orange underbelly for contrast. I believe this is the first blue dinosaur we've created for this series. Now we mix in the Litho Bates pattern pack and it gives it some darker flesh tones to help make a nice natural looking pattern. Now that we've seen what this dinosaur looks like in the viewer gallery, let's see what it looks like actually in our park. This dinosaur, the Corythosaurus, is a duck-billed animal that looks like it's wearing a helmet. I mean, check that thing out. I wouldn't want to butt heads with it. Alright everybody, I like the way this one turned out. Now let's take a look and see what our next dinosaur will look like. So the next dinosaur on today's video will be our first flyer for this series, the Geosturm Bergia. This dinosaur features a decorative frill which sits atop the dinosaur's head, most likely used for some sort of mating call or ritual, and an extremely long beak. Now while in its default skin, this dinosaur by no means looks bad, but I'm certain we can make it look at least a little better. Using the Zvalbarad skin pack it gives it a nice ash or stone gray to work with. And then by using the Pulcherana detailing pack it gives us a nice orange flare which sits nicely in the wing. Using the Pulcherana detailing pack also gives us the most colorful option for the frill. Now that we've seen what this dinosaur looks like in the viewer, let's take a look and see what it looks like in our park. If you don't think nature can be bonkers at times, then you've never laid eyes on this newest animal, the Geosternbergia. However, it is apparently graceful in the air. Not that I would know, but isn't that your job? Alright guys, I absolutely enjoy this one. Let's take another spin on the randomizer to see what dinosaur we'll be working with next. Thank you. 
All right, looks like we'll be rocking back to back G's on this one with the Giganotosaurus following the Geostem Bergia. The Giganotosaurus is one of the largest carnivores to have been discovered, rivaling that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, at least at the time of this recording. Something could be discovered tomorrow, which could completely overshadow everything I've said. The Giganotosaurus was also featured in the Jurassic World Dominion film, and while both the skins I have showed don't look bad, I'm going to at least attempt to put my stamp on this one. Using the Zvalbarod skin pack again, we get a nice midnight or ash stone gray. And then using the Peleophylax um, detailing pack, I think I'm saying that right, gives it a nice purple overtone pattern. Using this combination, I could definitely see this dinosaur being like a midnight or nocturnal hunter. And now that we've seen what it looks like in the viewer, let's see what it looks like in the park itself. to confuse this animal, the Giganotosaurus, with the T-Rex. They look similar, act similar, and both have that eat everything within their field of vision thing working for them. This dinosaur is also fast. Bottom line, if you find yourself running from this biggie, you've already made a real mistake. dinosaur is going to be the Scorpio's Rex, one of the main terrors on the Jurassic Park Netflix show Camp Cretaceous, and chronologically one of the first hybrids that Dr. Wu has ever worked on. This dinosaur combined the DNAs of the Carnotaurus, Tyrannosaur, Velociraptor, Tree Frog, and Scorpion Fish, which helped give it some venom. Here we have skin packs from the show itself, as well as its Base skin and while all three of these are absolute menace uh, I'm hoping that I can at least make it look a little better for this dinosaur I took on a less is more approach with the Yukon River detailing pack which again gave it a nice pale menacing look if we add in the paparana detailing pack it adds Stripes of green which go up and down the spine, some black stripes up around the body and across the face, and some red quill marks to help accent those as well. I think this, de this dinosaur looks absolutely menacing and it's time to view it in our park. much gives me the chills but this this is something else now listen to me very carefully it is imperative that you keep the Scorpius Rex under control if this thing escapes well I'm not even gonna go there All right, guys, absolutely love the look of this one. I think we have time for one more dinosaur, so let's take one more spin on the randomizer to see what it'll be. Heading into the final dinosaur in today's video, the Dimetrodon. The Dimetrodon was more recently featured on this channel when I compared the Jurassic World Dominion skins. Here in its base form, you can see it's kind of got like a clay brown body and a distinct red sail. And while these colors do work well together, 
I'm sure we can make this dinosaur look at least a little better. Here using the Sonoran Desert Skin Pack and the Pulcherana Detailing Pack, we have a dinosaur skin which compares shades of orange, green, and even pinks, which I think work really well together. Now that we've seen the dinosaur in the viewer, it's time to take a look at it in the park. I finally get it. I finally understand why people have a fear of the dark. Once you peer into the shadows and see a pair of Dimetrodon eyes staring back at you, well, you'll be having nightmares for years. That's if you're lucky enough to walk away, because believe me, not everybody is. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this concept of video and be sure to leave all your feedback in that comment section. Here is my Twitter handle where you guys can interact with me and see what we're up to on the channel, as well as the Instagram, which is just an extra way to interact and follow. As always, guys, I thank you so much for tuning in. Keep your eyes to the horizons for more Hixie Dust content and be sure to follow.